Let me ask you about the RNC. I was there covering that as right. well. Were you disappointed in the the protests, the level of protests? People thought there would be more uh, protests against Donald Trump there. Well, Did you share that view? Well, certainly that, number one. But number two, what was far more reprehensible was their protest against equality, their protest against you know, a serious, sustained engagement with the problems that confront America. I was disappointed in the RNC because their tent is not big. If you look at what's going on here, there are many more people, diverse kinds of people, other able people, Latino people, African American people, native people. There is a variety of differences operating here, but the deal is within the RNC, there was no serious engagement with the very, you know, uh, diversity that characterizes us as a people. And on top of that, Donald Trump's amplification of the worst imaginable bigotry that this nation could conjure explicitly, unapologetically, before the nation uh, was reprehensible. And so I think that being here is a relief from that. But yeah, we got to protest by voting. We got to protest by getting out and making certain that we dimple those chads and pull those levers uh, so that Donald Trump is prevented from becoming president of the United States of America. What's the, what's like a specific example, the number one thing you think he said or done that is the worst in terms well, of... Well, the appeal, you know, building a wall against Mexicans, uh, keeping Muslims out, banning them, not all of them, just most of them. I mean, that is ludicrous. Not only is it ludicrous, it's xenophobic. Uh, we shouldn't be building walls. We should be extending bridges. We should be figuring out a way uh, to bring people in. Do we want to be safe? Of course we do. Do we want to guard our borders in a reasonable way? Of course we do. But we have to do that with an appreciation for what is serious and what is, what is democratic about our culture. And we, we got, got Reverend Representative oh, look at Lewis right here. I got one more for you. One more for you. You had that. You had that column you wrote. I think it was about a month before yes, the right, convention. Right, right. And some people were interpreting that as you were saying you wanted. No, I no, no, no. What I was saying. I just want to make. Let me. Thank you for that. What I was saying. Martin Luther King Jr. knew that it would be violence when he went into Birmingham. He knew it would be violence, not because he brought it. I'm a nonviolent person. I'm an ordained Baptist minister for 35 years. I don't want no violence. But I said, even if there's the prospect of violence, we must walk into the teeth of that violence. We must not be intimidated by people's threat. If you come here, we're going to beat you down. So my point is, let's engage in some serious protests that regardless of the potential that people will threaten that violence, we have to be brave enough and strong enough to weather that storm.